Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just on the fan TV. Back at you on the video, like the content. This video, go ahead and smash that like button, like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Listen, uh, we're on the bye week, so, you know, I'm just giving a couple thoughts about, you know, the Ravens and the season and how it's going. And one of the thoughts that hit me is something that we've been talking about all season, really, is um, can this style of play that the Ravens play, can it win the Super Bowl, right? Um, so I was on Twitter, scrolling, and, and Graven have applied to a, uh, a Twitter post, right? Um, he's saying he, he it was a stat that he liked and stuff like that, right? So I just checked it out, and the stat pretty much reads that most games with at least 150 yards rushing in a single season, right? Um, so the Ravens currently have uh, eight consecutive games like that. Uh, you know, there's teams on here like the 72 Dolphins with 11, then 10, 9, 8 um, for Steelers, Bears, and the Dolphins again. And some of these teams won Super Bowl, right? These teams that went above eight games won Super Bowl. So the Ravens do that in the next game, you know, that's what the history leans towards, right? But the issue for me with this kind of stat is the fact that the Dolphins is 72, the Steelers is 70, 1975, the Bears is the 1985 Bears, and the Dolphins is 1973, all right? So the most recent team on here is the 85 Bears, that's the most recent team on that kind of graphic, right? So, you know, the Ravens, we know they like to run the ball. We know that's that kind of offense, right? So it made me think, right? All right, cool. That's just one stat. Let's let's, let's look into it a little deeper, right? Let's, let's look at what the Ravens are doing passing this year. So the Ravens right now average 187 yards a game. It's a 186.8. So 27th in the NFL right now. The Bears are averaging like 125 yards a game with Justin Fields, which is crazy. But anyway, the Ravens 27th in the NFL, 186.8 a game, Okay. Just last year, the Ravens, in 2021, the Ravens were 233, 13th in the NFL, sitting in a good spot. I thought we were going to get something like that this year. Now, obviously, things change, pieces change, but they kind of averted back to, you know, 2019, right? But even in 2019, the Ravens still threw for over 200 yards a game. It was about 201, and uh, that put them at about, I think around, it was around the same way, like 26, 27, somewhere around there. But I looked at the last 10 Super Bowl champions, right, and their passing numbers. Where did they rank in total, in total passing yards per game, right? Uh, that's why I looked out for the last 10 Super Bowl champions. Just because, you know, this is the new era. We're here now. What is that looking like, right? Just, just to see. So you got the Rams last year. They were fifth. Then the Bucks second. Chiefs fifth. Um, I'll put the graphic up here so it's easier to follow. Uh, Patriots eighth. Uh, Eagles 13th, the 2016 Patriots 4th, 2015 Broncos 14th, the 2014 Patriots 9th, um, and here's the one, the one team right here, the 2013 Seattle Seahawks were 26, but they averaged 202 yards a game, but still 26 in the league at that time. And the 2012 Baltimore Ravens were 15th in the regular season in passing, all right? So the Ravens are clearly nowhere near that at the moment. Now, obviously, you got Seattle in there. Right, Seattle was um, this is Legion of Boom dominance, right? So they're 26 in the league and passing only 20 yards a game. Uh, this is a young Russell Wilson, great defense, right? Now the Ravens have some of that. They have obviously Lamar Jackson is better than Russell Wilson at that time was, but on the defensive side, well, they have a really good defense, right? But that's one team. Okay, so then I looked up. Well, even the Seattle team that won Super Bowl was over 200 yards passing. What's the last team that won the Super Bowl that was under 200 yards passing per game, right? That would be the 07 08 Giants. They were 21st in the league in passing, and they averaged 197 yards a game. This is when they knocked off Tom Brady the first time, not Tom Brady in the past the first time. So it's been 15 years since a team who was under 200 yards passing won the Super Bowl. And we don't anything about that Giants team from that year it was a magical run. They weren't expected to be there. Uh, they knocked off some teams that they weren't expected to do. So I looked at the Giants' playoff run, right? The four games that they played, how much yards did they pass for? Wild card, 185. The divisional round, 163. Then Eli Manning turned it up, okay? Uh, the conference championship game, 251. Super Bowl, 255, all right? So it got better. It got better. Um, but the point being is that the way the Ravens play right now, historically over the last 10 years, Hasn't won a championship, and the team hasn't been under 20 yards passing and won a Super Bowl since 2007. And that 2017 was also a great defense. 
for the for the Giants. You know, this is O.C. Umiyora, Michael Strahan, uh, Justin Tuck. You know, these are great defensive linemen. So it kind of leads me to think, like, you know, what are they doing, right? But then I look at the Russian offenses, right? The last 10 Super Bowl winners, the same guys, where did they rank in Russian offense, right? So the Rams last year was 25th, the Bucks were 28th, the Chiefs 23rd, uh, and this is 2019 uh, for the Chiefs. But I looked at that season again for the Ravens. The Ravens averaged 206 yards a game that year in 2019 running the ball. That's crazy. That's, that's a crazy number. But anyway, the Patriots were fifth, uh, Eagles third, Patriots again seventh, Broncos 17th, uh, Patriots again 2014, 18th, Seahawks were fourth, and the Ravens in 2012 were 11th, right? So basically what I'm saying is, yes, a top flight running game can win the Super Bowl. It absolutely can. But it needs to be accompanied with some kind of pass game, some kind of vertical threat, some type of thing that's going to make the defense have to worry about something else, right? Once again, the Seahawks are the only team in this mix. Now, they, they were fourth in the league in rushing. You know, Marshawn Lynch doing this thing and, and, and you know, players like that. Um, so, yeah, you know, it can happen. Can it happen? Sure, but it's an anomaly, right? Um, so this video really isn't about... No, oh, it's not about Lamar Jackson and being more accurate. It's not about the wide receivers that needed more help there. It's really even not about Greg Roman himself being let go, right? Because I don't think that's going to happen. I think Greg Roman hasn't done enough to be fired. I think he'll be the Ravens' offensive coordinator at least for the rest of the season, right? So where do we go from here? My opinion, the Ravens need to find a way to turn up the passing game. You have to find a way. The Ravens will win a lot of these games to end the season off, okay? The Ravens are 6-3, 9 games, and they got 8 games to go, right? They should win 6. They should win at, at the minimum, so they should win 5 games. At the maximum, they could rattle off the rest of the wins and go 14-3, and three, honestly. They could do it. Not saying they will, but they could. For me personally, I think the Ravens will end the season with about 12 wins, so that, what's that? that's about 6-2 and two to finish the year, okay? That's going to give them the playoffs. That's probably going to win the division. But when it comes down to the playoffs, when it comes down to passing the ball when we might be down a score and need to need to air it out, can they do it? And I don't even have so much questions about the guys that's lined up outside. I have questions about are they going to be in enough rhythm? Are they going to have enough practice just doing this in live action, right? Um, and the reason that it, it kind of boggles my mind is because just last year, 2021, like I said, the Ravens averaged 233 yards a game passing which was 13th in the NFL, which is kind of in that middle range, which would have been well enough for a team that runs the ball as well as the Ravens do. To be in that middle would make them almost a dominant team. To be top five, first in rushing, top, that high, and then have a passing game that's still top 15 would be great. Right? Now, I know we, I know they lost Hollywood and, you know, things like that, you know, transpired. But even to start off this season, Right? You got the Jets, you got the Dolphins, you got the um, you got the Patriots, you got the Bills, right? And it looks like they were going to continue in that same vein, opening up the passing game. And now we kind of see them kind of revert back a little bit. So for me, right, I'm enjoying all the you know the regular season success. I'm I'm going to enjoy the season now. I'm I'm not thinking too far ahead. It's just that you know the Ravens on the Bobby, so let's talk about it. Can this style of can this style of football win the championship in this modern era? The answer is, it's possible. Is it likely? No, it isn't. Right? The Ravens will be an anomaly. They will be one out of the last 10 Super Bowl champions. Really, zero out of 10 because, even, like I said, even the Seahawks averaged over 20 yards a game passing. Right? 186 yards a game is an anemic amount of passing yards. They have to turn it up. There's no other way to say it. All right? Um, the Ravens, the way the Ravens play... Ray Greg Roman can play football, it's going to win you a lot of regular season games. You know, Peyton Manning kind of messes on the Manning cash. You know, these teams, they, they play spread offenses for seven, eight weeks throughout the season, and they come play the Ravens, and it's like they're playing Army. It's Army versus Navy. They don't know what to do. they they never seen it before, right? And that's true. But in the playoffs, as we've seen, it changes. It just does, all right? Um, the Ravens are a good team. The Ravens have a really good defense. I, I will say this, right? That Giants defense in 07, that Legion of Boom defense that won the Super Bowl with the, uh, the Seahawks in, uh, what's that, 2013? The Ravens have a really, really good defense. And if Marcus Williams comes back and is still the same player, 
who knows? They potentially could be on that kind of level, right? Because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a dominant defense. They, the defense can't be average. The defense has to be great to win, winning, to win using this style of football on offense. Your defense on the other side has to be great. That's a lot of expectations. It's a lot. Especially when you have a guy like Lamar Jackson, an MVP, who we know can lead the charge, but you're not letting him lead the charge, right? Now, like I said, this this, this isn't about the wide receivers. It isn't about Greg Roman himself being fired. It's about the Ravens. They have a, they have this bye week off. After this bye week, can we see a more of a commitment to throwing football? That's it. I want a balanced offense. I don't want to be the Buccaneers who can't run the football. I don't want to be that, right? But the Ravens also can't be 27th in passing. If the Ravens can find a way, I mean, it's, it's, it's late, not late in the season, but we're over the halfway point now. But if the Ravens can find a way to creep up to 18th in passing, that will put them in a range where I will feel more comfortable with their chances in the playoffs. So if they can climb up nine spots from where they are right now, this is a better team moving forward who has a better chance of winning the Super Bowl this year. That's what it's about at this point in time, right? The Ravens have been to the playoffs. They've been a high seed. They've done a lot. Oh, in the last 10 years, I believe it's what, two playoff wins? So getting to the playoffs is no longer the goal. That's the expectation. The expectation now, um, the goal should now be switching to conference championship game to win the Super Bowl, right? And listen, I'm not saying this video would be negative. I don't want anybody to take it like that. But just an observation, I'm giving give you the numbers. You do with it what you please. You know what I mean? I'm just, I look the numbers up and this is what they say, right? It's a clear trend here. The lowest passing team, um, Seattle with 26, right? But say we take Seattle out because that's, that's super low, right? All right. Even if you, so you take them out, the lowest passing team is the Ravens with 2012 who are 15th, but that's middle of the pack. So that's it, man. The Ravens have to elevate their passing game if they want to be served the one Super Bowl. And that's just what it is, right? Or you're dependent on a, a hopefully a generational defense. That Legion of Boom defense is one of the greatest defenses we've ever seen. Is this Ravens defense that? They've been really good since week four. Damn, they're great. But are they legendary? We're going to have to see. Because that's what they're going to have to be if the offense keeps continuing in this direction, right? The Ravens will win games. They will get to the playoffs. They will be fine. But what will happen in that playoff game if they get down 10, 14 points? That's it. That's just my thoughts, man. Uh, you guys can comment down there. We'll talk about it. Maybe I'm way off. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you agree. Maybe you don't. So let me know, man. It's your boy Gabriel. This is another fan TV. I'm out.